Hi guys, so today I'm going to be painting Luru Rock in Australia. This was suggested to me by Laurie Fay Art. So I'm going to be using um, oil paint on canvas, which is actually my favorite medium. Laurie is an artist who I'm going to be doing a collaboration with probably about the second to third week of September. So very exciting, we're gonna be working together and hopefully coming up with something very creative and very interesting. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video.
Thank you for watching my video. So I use oil paint on canvas. I tried to create lots of drama, lots of moodiness in the sky, and then a really, really bright, earthy rock in the center of the painting that almost seems to light up the, the landscape. I tried to use lots of reds in the foreground here um, and really create a lot of texture, but at the same time, bringing a lot of that red light through. Then with the, the sky, there were so many colors to incorporate. Um, so I tried to get lots of purples, lots of pinks, lots of uh, blues, all combined with that sort of fluffy texture of the clouds and then the drama of the lightning all the way through. I've been having a few conversations with some of you about different mediums and what we prefer, pros and cons of oils, acrylics, gouache, watercolour and a subject that comes up quite a lot is a lot of people are put off oil paints because of the mess um, and I just wanted to share this one trick that I find really, really helpful. And it's very simple and it just comes with cleaning brushes. So after I finish painting with oils, I first of all just get rid of the excess oil um, paint from the actual brushes themselves, so wipe them down with a tissue. Then I get some baby oil and I just really, really cover them in baby oil and try to sort of massage it through the, um, the fibres of the brush. And then I rinse it a little bit and mix some fairy liquid in it or any sort of uh, washing up detergent, mix it through, really, really get all that paint out. Um, and then I just use a little bit of hair conditioner, just what you would usually use in the shower, condition the fibres and then just softly dry them with a towel or tea towel, something like that. And I just find that that helps to keep the fibers quite healthy, but at the same time, it avoids me using white spirit or paraffinol or anything else that, that people commonly use to uh, clean oil paint off their brushes. And that's just one thing where you can make oil paint a little bit more user-friendly. Um, I do love acrylic paint, I have to say. I'm a huge, huge fan of acrylics. You can create texture really, really quickly, um, but but oil is all it's always been my favorite just because of the thickness um, with you can get a little bit of translucency with the paste but then you can if you if you use certain colors get that opacity um, and it's just something that you can play around with and really have fun and because it takes so long to dry it's very forgiving so if you make mistakes it's really easy to correct um, acrylic again can be quite forgiving you can just wait for it to dry and paint over but with oil you just have that fluidity um, and you can just work with um, however you want to go, whatever direction you want to go, but you just know you don't have to rush because it takes that little bit longer to dry. Thank you for watching.